Hey guys, I'm super excited to show you this. So today OpenAI released the latest version of GPT 3.5 Turbo that allows you to make API calls from external APIs. So this is incredibly exciting because it allows you to make really powerful automations. You can do stuff like sending emails, posting directly to your CMS, basically any third party API you can think of, it can interact with it all within the body of the chat GPT or the chat completion endpoint. So let me walk you through this. We're gonna show you an example of the latest version of how to send an email using the SendGrid API and the chat completion endpoint. Again, this is the newest one. It's 3.5 Turbo 0613. And so let me first demo this to you on the terminal. We're gonna run this code and see what happens. Basically, it's gonna send and it's gonna write an email. It's gonna write the subject, the body, and send it, send us an email based on the email address we give it, we give it in the content. So that's what that is here. Send an email to Toshvalaga at gmail.com. That's my email. About why they should use a product that I built, type block. So let's run this. So we can do python example.py and run it. Let's see if this is successful, which it should be because I just ran it. Okay, cool. So this is the email it wrote, the arguments. And so let's check our email that this worked. And yeah, it looks like I got a notification from my phone, so it did work. So let's go here. Okay, perfect. So look, it wrote the subject line. It sent the email to me. This is my email address in here. This is the email we specified and it wrote the entire body of the email as well. So that's pretty amazing. It did everything by itself. We just had to give it the, the send email function. So let's now go over that. The send email is super basic. It just takes in the email address, the subject, the body, like we talked about. And this is all the send grid logic here. It's all directly from the send grid API. And I'll post the code for this on the GitHub, on my GitHub as well. So you can have access to it and run it if you want. And this is the turbo completion endpoint. This is all in Python. And it looks similar to the previous versions, but the two things to keep in mind that are different are is functions and function call auto. So this part is all the same. You have a user and then the message sent an email. This is the body of the message that, that we wrote in the prompt. And so let's go over this part, which is the important part, the functions part. You need to give it the name of the function that you want it to call. And the name is send email, which is defined above here. And then we give it a description. This part is optional. You don't need it. I've included it anyways for, for visibility. And this part is required. You need to give it the parameters, or in other words, the arguments that go into send email. And again, those arguments were email, body, and subject. And you need to give them types as well. So properties, email type of string, body type of string, subject type of string. And you can optionally give it a description as well. Again, that's optional, but the types are required. And then function call auto means you want to automatically call the function. So you don't want to give the user a message. You want to call the function. So basically what's going on here is this part doesn't exactly call the function. It produces a JSON response with the right arguments that go into the function. And let me show you what that is. We actually console.log that here, or sorry, print in Python, printed the message, response choices message. So let's go and see what that is. So we can see the message object here is actually producing a function call. And in that function call, it has arguments. The arguments is an email, Tosh Vologa, and then a subject, and then a body. So it's not actually calling the API here, it's saying a function call and then giving us a JSON arguments. And then in the next step, we're checking if it's a function call, which it is. We're checking the arguments, we're printing it. This is just Python code that gets the arguments and prints it to the console. And here we're actually calling the API. So here we're saying function response, send email, and then we're printing the function response. So that's just a simple demonstration of one way to send an email completely from the completion endpoint. And this opens up a ton of possibilities. I think we can do a lot of creative stuff. This plus the increased context window of 16K 
that OpenAI announced. It's super exciting stuff. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions, but hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.